Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan. If you are new, if you are not new, then you know what's up. But if you don't know what's up, we are outside of West Hill on the Citadel server. It's a three and a half year old medieval town build and we've been working on the farms that are surrounding the area. So we've got pumpkin farm that's under construction. We finished the lilac farmstead last week and then we're moving on to some of these other places as well. But for now, we're focusing on the farm. Thank you ever so much to everyone that's kicking off the stream with the hype train. We've got a gifted sub to Kel Birdie from Cosmic Dancer. Cosmic, thank you so much. Scotsman UK is resubscribed at tier one. 15 months in a row for Scotsman UK. And Valder has subscribed at tier one, celebrating a full 12 months. That's a full year. The big, the big space keystone badge is now yours, Valder. Thank you ever so much for the support. Really appreciate it. So my inventory is still full of stuff that we were working with last time. Uh, we were focusing on trying to get these pumpkins to do what we want. Uh, in some cases, it looks like they have done. And so that's good. Uh, that one, I guess the thing to do there would be to remove this pumpkin, right? You remove this one and then maybe that will grow that way. We hope we'll have to see. Trying to get these to look as realistic as possible. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to work. Hunter triple five. Hello, hello. 1000 bits jumping on that hype train and sweet Sandy with 100 bits also jumping on the hype train. Thank you so much. We're going to switch it over to daytime here. <clears throat> so we have a release date for Tricky Trials, June 13th. That is uh, about a month faster than I thought it was going to be here. I mean, it tracks with the way that things are going with the snapshots, but I was anticipating a July release, not a June release. But that's good. Uh, that means that... Um, Johnny will not be traveling uh, on, uh, no, uh, Pix, um, Pix is on holiday in what we anticipated was, I think, the first week of July. Pretty sure, anyway. Pretty sure. Turing, hello, hello, welcome in. <clears throat> I guess I should put... Some extra wall bits along here, shouldn't I? Uh, maybe I'll do slabs for now. <clears throat> Just so we can have a visual of where the wall is. Uh, dirt. Just enough. I think that'll look good. We do something around that height. So I'll go get some more of those. Yeah, don't need a whole lot, but we do need some. You mean Mojang got their calendar wrong? Yeah, they, if they were planning on releasing it when Pix was out of town, they, they failed to thwart us this time. Hmm. 
I think there's one more spot. Yeah. That feels about right. Whoops. I am very likely going to change a lot of this, but I want the feeling and I want the height to be Something I remember. So I can now see from in here, I can see the border, which is good. Thanks again for kicking off the stream with that hype train, folks. I really appreciate the support. That was a level three hype train to kick off the stream. So we can't bone meal these any farther. I'm going to try and see if I can do something here. And I'm going to use, I guess I'll use, um, what should I use to block this? I guess I'll just use dirt. So no pumpkin, no pumpkin. I want you to grow in this direction. And now we wait. Now we wait for that. I also wanted to see what moss would look like up here. I don't know if it's going to look very good. Mind Trip Media with a lurk in 100 bits. Thanks ever so much. Can I not bring... I didn't bring the ferns out here, did I? I got an animated emote for that one. Very cool. I don't think this will look good, but we're going to try it out anyway. Oh, you know, it's not bad. Okay. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Okay, so moss and moss carpet are definitely going to be part of this. That's good. I can work in those details later. It's more about getting like the palette down in like a test area. Was the blue jay on my shoulder? No, but I could see him. Uh probably twenty yards away? Not even. <clears throat> Are you considering West Hill complete or not until you're done with the exterior buildings? Um, there is a very slim chance of me finishing West Hill before the 13th of June. So this won't be done by the time 1.21 comes out, which is unfortunate. Um, no, I think after I finish the pumpkin farm, I might bop back inside and finish the keep. Um, I want to finish the things that kind of border the town i think is when i would call it done the rest of this i would consider the west hill valley and i'll still continue to to work on stuff but um i think there's going to be some opportunities to spread my wings a little bit so i like this idea i think most of these have been grown up so like here I think we could come down and break things down a little bit. So take some of the stuff. And we'll come back and texture this properly, but the idea is just to make it look 
decent at this stage. Actually, maybe this would make more sense on this side. Right, so we've got pumpkin growing this way, pumpkin growing that way. And then I guess what I should do is maybe block this one so that this one grows in this direction. And then this could get switched probably to moss. I'm going to remove these, you know. Oh, and these ones were not the right material. I guess I didn't get that far. And then this we would want to be mud now this one yeah I don't know about this we'll have to see where this goes In some cases, it might be good to leave some empty vines. I may also want to revisit the texture. The texture of the pumpkin vine, I should say. Did I make these two one? I did. This should actually be coarse dirt. Uh, yes, a sci-fi build is the plan. Uh, so that's what I'm hoping to do next. I don't have any real like concrete plans yet, so I think there'll be some like early planning stages. I think that feels decent. This could actually be a, a pumpkin, couldn't it? So these are good. I can probably do a little bit of moss here. Uh, that is gonna grow in this direction. I guess I'm trying to figure out if I like, I don't think I like them when there's two in a row. So that's good. But another pumpkin here would not be good. So I'm gonna put, I really should have carpet out here too. It's hard to like establish a pattern, but then not make it look too much like a pattern at the same time. I should probably put some of this stuff away.
Does anybody know if a pumpkin grows, if it will override long grass or a fern? Or will it see it and ignore it and grow in a different direction? Uh, my game just crashed. That's great. One moment. Apparently it was replay mod related. I don't remember that I was recording. I wasn't planning on recording. Maybe I hit something by accident. I'm not actually sure when we're going to be updating to 1.21. So I guess even though 1.21 will come out technically, uh, just because it's out doesn't mean the server's going to update to it right away, right? I don't think I need anything else. This area is really starting to come together. No, I didn't press anything. It wasn't me. I didn't do it, I swear. All right, so we've got some potential pumpkins that could be here too. I'm sure a carpet will block a pumpkin from growing. Pretty sure that's the case. This could use some bone meal. Oh, no, that's already connected. Okay. So that's connected. So what I want to do is I want to destroy this one. So hopefully that pumpkin vine will grow here. And then we can connect this one. And then we'll put maybe this here. Your boss hung up on you by accident. Yeah. It's funny, you know, I've had some real issues with uh, phone calls uh, or even just FaceTime audio calls. Uh, I could have a Discord call across the ocean. Could last an hour, two hours, perfectly fine. If I go to have like a FaceTime call or a phone call just as far as Toronto, from here to Toronto, it's hot garbage. I would much rather go voice over IP. I don't know if I want to load more inventory stuff like that. Don't think I need those. Don't think I need the jungle leaves either. Uh, 
that grew the direction I wanted it to. Okay. That's good. And this ultimately won't grow into anything. So you can put this down here. Don't know about this. I think this was just temporary. That's meant to be a pumpkin, I think. And I know you can't really see this stuff. I think it's just more for, for consistency for me. We're going to have to fix those. Not like in that look. So that's going to grow there. This, I guess, can just be anything. And then this can go away. I wonder what this would look like with moss on top of it. Yeah, that looks fine. However, this is not staying. And that <clears throat> is also not staying. This is where we can maybe use a fern. Hopefully it's in the center. Darn it. Having a different color under the pumpkins made sense when we were using a, a path block, but I guess it doesn't make a lot of sense if we're filling everything in with coarse dirt. my houses I often put stuff in chests says wait for night that makes sense for the house even if it doesn't add to the look but it's nice to know it's just not an empty chest no that's fair all of the chests that I've been putting down in, in worlds are definitely definitely empty I guess it makes sense for the pumpkins to have these blocks underneath them when they're next to farmland. Like that to me, I think looks good. So maybe I'll keep up appearances. I mean, it's only blocks, who cares, right? I knew there was a reason I was continuing to do it. So I like that path and I like the pumpkins. 
So we'll do seeds here. And hmm. Do I want another row of pumpkins or are we good with that being the full patch on this side? We still have to do that side. Yeah, we'll have to figure out how we want that to go. If we do one more line of pumpkins, then I'll have to come up with another path. Which is fine, because that would remove a lot here. What if there was a pumpkin, I guess, like here, there, there, and then put another one there. And then maybe another one here. I guess it doesn't have to be super wide, but we'll keep keep it consistent, I guess. Boss Bird, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Aldabar, welcome in. Good to see you. Feels pretty good. Uh, no.
think I want to go that thick with it. Hmm, it does get really tricky. You're trying to layer stuff, but then not repeat yourself. I think you can overdo it by putting in too many double tall ferns and grass. I guess I could just put a regular fern in there. I don't have to bone meal it. I could just leave it short. Yeah. It, because of the way that they arc, they almost look like they're vines a little bit. Although that's another thing that could go in there would be probably the, um, the farmland. For here, right? Yeah, there's a bunch of things that are going to be really tricky. It's going to be time consuming to get them all right. I might have to do some AFK in the area just to kind of make things work. Janoy, hello, hello, welcome in. I don't remember whether these had stuff underneath them or not. I also don't remember whether that one was actually on a vine. I should have checked before I changed that. Did I not just put a little... I thought I just put like a one tall fern down. Where did that go? Did I destroy it by accident? I'm in a weird, weird brain fart here. Yeah, I like using ferns as well, Cosmic. I think they're they're pretty handy. Speaking of, I feel like I want more in here. I guess I could go double bush. Yeah, I think I like that better. It helps that the carpet helps um, with a different height there. This is just temporary. Well, I guess it could stay depending on what things look like. All right, well, that gives us this little patch and just out of curiosity from people in chat, what would be a good thing to go in this area? Like I'm gonna put a little pond here. I say duck pond, but there's no ducks in Minecraft. And I might nudge this a little bit in that direction. 
but that leaves this open for probably some crops. Not much that can be done back here. We could do a few little raised beds maybe. But I feel like what would be nice to do back here, I don't really have any wood per se, but it'd be cool to have what would look like a little pen or something. A pig pen, that would be good for out back. A wagon would be good. You're right, a wagon. And a wagon here would make sense. Yeah, a wagon there might not be a bad idea. Uh, which way would it go? This way? You know I like my pets, a wagon and a donkey? Yeah, I don't know about having a donkey, but certainly a wagon would make sense. I'll just put in a quick temporary, temporary wagon. It may not be something we put right there. I may change its direction, but... For whatever reason, I seem to be pretty concerned with how this looks when you come down from here, but... Yeah, if it was a little bit closer to us and a little bit farther this way, that could look okay. When the server does update to one dot. 21 is there anything you are planning to do other than make some new blocks and possibly use them here uh one of the nice things about 1.21 dropping is that i'll have access to tough slabs and stairs i don't think i'm going to go be be going back to doing things but having tough slabs and stairs will mean that we will be able to make uh roofs out of tough so we'll have another roof material and i think something like this in stairs and slabs would go really well on the older kind of not rotten but like the worn down or ruined farms or abandoned farms i think that could be good uh we might end up using some copper uh we have the distillery that i want to make in the basement of the keep as one of the last things that we do and having access to the copper trapdoors 
uh, and the other copper doors will be good for that, I think. Just as levels of detail. Um, what else is coming as far as new blocks with 1.21? I mean, I know the crafter is coming, but I can't see myself using that here in Westall that much. It has some interesting textures. I might be able to pull it off in like a kitchen or a very specific use case, but I don't know about anything beyond that. All right, so that's an idea. I can't say I'm in love with it. It's a very distracting. So I'd probably put that farther up in this direction. Trying to think about what else would be piled up out here. I could see maybe like a pile of pumpkins, perhaps. Doesn't make a lot of sense, though. And I don't want a pig pen out there. I feel like a pig pen would be nice maybe in this section. Yeah, I'd say probably crops back here to about there. And then somewhere around here, we would probably be good to have a pig pen. Let's just um, rough that idea in. Normally you'd do this up against the house, but I don't want to block the path. Hmm. That is ugly, but maybe about the right size. I don't know. They f I feel like they work so much better when they're up against the house. Maybe a pig pen would be a lot smaller. Maybe we can fit one in somewhere. I don't know. I guess we could put one here and just move the path a bit. That might be the easiest thing to do. We do have room. This is giving me like a false sense. So I think I might take this up. Kind of give me a false sense of space. Oh, you want to get a rainbow ban hammer f texture for the mace? That's a great idea. <laughs> That's really funny. That would be that would be great. Could make it look like one of those giant cartoon hammers from like a fair, 
you know, when you go to the, 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 the strongman competition or the strongman machine where you're going to ring the bell. So he's, I think a more likely position for a pig pen would be like right here. Right? I feel like this would be more... Because they don't need to be very big. Actually, I kind of like that. It might even be too big. Like we could even, might even make it smaller. Yeah. And that doesn't affect the path too much. We can just bump that out. Sure. Now, as far as crops, maybe some potatoes would be good back here. I could see this maybe having some greenery. And then we would plant the rows going in this way. So maybe like two, three. Uh, hmm. So that was crops. Then the path would be here. do the farm they're like oh the crops are too wide right that makes more sense here and then one, two three four five four Guess that makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe this will be green. And these don't all have to be the same thing. I might go over and look at the, the in. See if that looks good. I think we could probably knock this one back a bit. They don't have to be quite perfect. patches of pumpkins yeah yeah i think the patches of pumpkins look pretty good i like that wall like that divider wall so i might try to do what i like about that wall is that it looks like it might have been the old property line or an old separation and so i might try to draw and like draw it around so that it connects over here somewhere and then we'll have another kind of like ruined wall that goes through this section I think that could be a fun way to kind of, because this is another big area and it would be fun to kind of divide that up. Plus, I feel like this might need more access. Like, I think we're going to have some pumpkin rows run this way, but I think we need to have another path basically where I'm standing. Right. So we'll have to have another path that goes off that direction. Break time, says Cosmic. Thank you very much. Do I have enough inventory space? I do. Let's chop this down. So no idea really what's going in that space. That could be more more storage, I guess. I do want to put, I guess I could put some logs out here. Um, for uh, firewood and stuff. That feels pretty tight. We might want to push that back a bit. Yeah, it's a little bit better. probably do one more row but I'll do that after my break so if you're new to the channel I take a break about once an hour it gives me a chance to uh, refresh my drink grab a stretch you should too we are always trying to grow so if you would like to tell a friend that we're streaming or there is a tweet or an Instagram story that you can share with folks it's Joel Duggan on both very easy to find and the more eyeballs on the stream then the better the stream does and the more often i can do it so uh, i'll see you in about five or six minutes
All kinds of friends are on fire. Oh, there's a creeper. You know what? I'm going to solve this the easy way. I kind of want to review how this looks coming in from the west anyway. We have not done anything about this road. I don't know if it's going to stay this high. It is kind of cool to have the, the vantage point up high, but I, I might want to be a little bit lower. Plus, this is such a steep, steep hill. You can see the pumpkins right away. Definitely need some more green. We need to do the, the custom greenery in there for sure. I like that you can see the uh, the crops behind the farm there as well. So that'll be good. It might be worth putting something here, like some sort of crop or bush or something. That felt kind of empty when I was coming down the hill. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It could just be a bush. Maybe there'll be some berry bushes or I don't know. I have to see. So let's plant a couple of crops and see what's looking good. I think it's going to be either carrots or potatoes. Elkhorn 95. The mighty Elkhorn is here. 12-month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer entered the ninth month. That's the Fire Keystone badge if Elkhorn was new, but Elkhorn is not new. Elkhorn is old. <laughs> good to see you, Elkhorn. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, question for those in the chat that might or might not know. Can pigs get over that? Could pigs walk over that? They probably can, right? Oh good, a wandering trader, just what I was looking for. If only I needed leads to lead a sheep or tie somebody up, wherever would I get them? What are we looking at? Stone mini blocks? That's actually not bad. Deep slate, copper ore. I don't know if I have any of that. Diorite, yellow concrete. There are a few things here, unfortunately, that are appealing, so we should probably get them. The bright color ones specifically are going to be cool for the sci-fi area. So, All right. Uh, let's go... Polished deep slate, stone, deep slate, copper ore, diorite, yellow concrete. I mean, we're probably going to get most of them. Uh, bricks. I don't think I have any emerald ore anymore, but we'll see. Bricks, raw gold, warped stem, deep slate, gold ore. I don't know if we have any mangrove logs, so we'll get mangrove logs, purple blocks, quartz blocks, tube coral, lime concrete. Yeah, I need to dump my entire inventory, which is fine. It's been a little overdue anyway. We'll just have to see what we have out here. There's a stone. So we can grab that. Okay. 
All right, uh, was stone polished deep slate, which I don't have out here. Polished or deep slate copper ore. Bricks, I don't think are out here. Oh, they are. Bricks, mangrove is out here. Her per blocks might be in here. Or maybe not. There's the warped wood. Coral is out here. And concrete will be out here. Was yellow concrete and what was the other one? Green concrete, lime concrete. Oh yeah, I know you. I know there's definitely some missing. Uh, purple block, coral, yellow, mangrove logs. Well, I can do these now and do the rest later. Down to my last brick. So stone. All right, so now it's just uh, diorite, which is out here. I can get that. Gold, I don't know if I have, no, that's inside in the keep. So it's ore purper quartz is out here. Is it just a regular quartz block? Yeah. When I'm actually trading with him, he's walking away. And when I don't want to trade with him, he's in my face. Okay, so... I don't care about the logs, I don't think. Purper, deep slate gold, gold, regular emeralds, and deep slate copper and polished deep slate. Okay. I think I can remember all that. You want the sniffer egg? We'll do cosmic. I will not, not eliminate him from existence. Uh, we only have one of those, so I'm not going to do that. Let's see. We do have the deep slate gold, and we do have the deep slate copper, and raw gold. We have one of those. I think that's it. I think it was just the four. Yeah, we've already got dark oak. That's fine. Oh no, it was polished. Polished deep slate. What's the other one? I shall spare the trader. See if I can trade with him before he disappears. All right, all yours, Cosmic.
Can I borrow some emeralds? Uh, yes. Hold on. I just put them away in my ender chest. Emeralds are in the black box. It's a big town. It takes a long time to fly across it. No problem, Cosmic. Happy to happy to help. I think that might have been the first set of mangrove logs. That's cool. We do have to reorganize these. They're going to be fun to organize into shulkers when we actually go to the sci-fi area. I think that's going to be good. This place could use a bed. Definitely. I think there's a bed just in here. Okay, uh, I think that's good. I think my rocket box... Oh no, it's here, okay. Okay, so now, oh, potatoes, that's what I wanted to do. Potatoes or carrots for these crops. I mean, there's no reason why we couldn't do both. What is going to look good next to this? Mm, they're both very bright, aren't they? I guess I could change these to be a different color, different color bush. That would make more sense too. Oh, did I not bring the azalea out? That's dumb. Ugh. I do hate flying around and forgetting things. I think the carrots might be a little bit too much with the orange, or do we think it helps complement the orange? What do we think, chat? A wild cosmic, yes. Happens from time to time. This doesn't feel like it's a good direction. Saw nothing. On nothing. Yeah, I feel like we need to straighten this out a little bit.
That's probably good. Uh, I guess we just have to figure out whether we want to do the full range. I might as well just plant the potatoes and then plant the carrots and see which one we like. Might be worth doing like a row of carrots, row of potatoes, row of carrots. It won't matter much down here. The potatoes you can see better. And if we do the carrots here, they'll be mostly hidden by whatever vegetation we put in. Hopefully those are special potatoes, otherwise they'll just narrate everything you're doing. I mean, they'd be commentators. <laughs> wow. Alcor 95, ladies and gentlemen. Focus all love and or despise in that direction. I think I was given the leads sneakily. Where'd that sheep go? Did he despawn when I flew away? There's a stray cow. Can you leash squid? I've never actually tried. Well, that's a thunderstorm if I ever saw one. Not that hard, cow. Definitely, because that's a zombie in the middle of the day. And a creeper. How are you not faster than a cow? Just need to get close enough to rope this guy in and then I'm good. Good. All right. like extra zombies. <laughs> Why did I want to leash the squid? I think it's just because I had leashes on the brain and I saw the squid. I'm actually glad that we came up here because I want to see what this is looking like now that we have more. Yeah. I like it. I like what we did over there a little bit better, but I think we'll get there. You know, I don't spend a lot of time over on this side of things. The idea was that this whole kingdom was meant to be for other people that might want to build some medieval fantasy like there's a spot here if anybody ever wanted to build a castle because you could totally do some cool stuff there but then again maybe i'll get a wild hare to build a castle at some point i think this is our river Alright, 
Well, that stuff is growing up. I think I will take a look at this wall here and see if I can't find a way to make this work. Yeah, I like it better without the creepers in it too. So this wall is coming across this way. I kind of want to arc it so like it looks like it, it meets. So I'd say probably right over here. Maybe not quite that far. Yeah, so if I can move it along here. Stuff like this, I feel, adds a bit of character. Makes things a little bit more visually interesting. I could maybe go a little bit farther. Let that sort of works. It's going to feel broken here no matter what we do. So then I can maybe change a few of these just for now for quick, like a quick assessment of how this might look. And then how that might influence where things are. Yeah. I feel that looks like it could be an early wall, maybe. I just like the history that it kind of adds, you know? Mystic Bean, welcome in. So for this stuff, we'll have another row going this way. The wall will help divide it. And then from here, I think we have to get rid of these. And then I'm going to lay in a path. Oops. And it's probably going to follow the wall. To about there. Is 
that might be a little bit far. Okay. Might be a little bit steep from here. Although I guess this would actually go this way, wouldn't it? out probably like a path over here This would come up this way. And then I think we could just divide this one, I guess. I think that's starting to feel divided up correctly. So you can see how breaking down the area into smaller chunks really helps with the layout. Hey, big head face, it's all good. Eyeballs are free. Telling friends about the podcast or about the podcasts and the stream is free. So it's all good. Yeah, this pumpkin patch is gonna take a long time to get to look the way that I want.
I feel like this path might actually be good to connect here. Then we can cut this one up here this way. And then I guess we can go there, here. That looks pretty good. This is going to be a bigger connection here. That's okay. I feel like we can, um, a big patch there. Maybe we can utilize this space for piling up some tools or something. Like maybe this is a good spot to have like barrels and some water or something. I feel like that would make sense there. So then over this way, I think what I want to do is I want to have the rows go in a different direction. See, that, that worked the way that I wanted it to, so that's good. So right now, these rows, that kind of go off in that direction. Now these ones, I want to go off in that direction, sort of like a herringbone pattern. So I think what I don't want is I don't want to, I don't want to line them up. So I think maybe what we'll do is make sure that it would start about here. So it would be kind of off a little bit. And then we would have pumpkins sort of like in this space. These are just sections of three. Oh, we did get pretty narrow on some of these. Essentially, there's just going to be pumpkins along the, the edge here. That may be too many, but we'll figure that out. Come this way, my friend. Fazu Battlegaster, hello, hello. Move it or lose it, Fluffy. I just want you out of my way. Where's the lead? That feels a little bit weird, but I 
interested to hear your thoughts uh, via the sponge chunks on Monday with leadable boats and other changes. I guess the leadable boats just makes it a little easier to move villagers around. Or you can move two, two animals at once, maybe. Cosmic Dancer gifted a tier one sub to Fazu Battlecaster. That was five minutes ago. Sorry about that, Cosmic. I completely missed that. Oh, it was, it was given before. It's a 12-month gift sub courtesy of Cosmic Dancer. It went into the second month. Thanks for that, Cosmic. All done adulting. Let the weekend begin. Hello, Grandpa Crafter. Yeah, I haven't really reviewed the um, the context of the of the snapshot yet. Start. Rusty Bell, thanks very much for the lurk. Appreciate it. So I guess along here, we'll just put in pumpkins where they work. Maybe remove these ones. Sort of feels a bit big through here, doesn't it? So that connects through there, and then maybe we end up with like a couple of pumpkins there. So you can sort of see what I meant on the map where these are all at a slight angle this way, and then these are kind of at an angle going the other way. Um, I really don't know about this weird little patch that we've got going on over here. That might be a little bit better. Maybe we can double up on, on like a too high bush or something in here. Let's take advantage of the sunrise and see what this looks like coming in this way. I like it. I like it so far. 
Yeah, looks organized but organic, I think. I don't think it's too big. I mean, more of it becomes visible as you go around the corner. So there's, we'll have to, it's, you can definitely see the difference that the green makes the ferns and the mangrove leaves on the one side that we were trying to customize a little bit more. Yeah, the orange really catches the sunlight with the shaders on. Here's what it looks like from over here. Let's take a walk around through this way. I like doing this every once in a while during the build to make sure you're on the right track. But like you can see the difference that the green makes in through here. Like it really makes it feel like a pumpkin patch. As opposed to just right there. There's just not a lot going on. It feels very mechanical. So once we get everything custom. And you can sort of see how it's like it kind of invites you to go this way. Little paths. We may end up doing something a little bit different through here just so it's not pumpkins like right up to here. I might have it be more like maybe there or there will be the limit. And then this will just be like grass just to kind of have a softer transition. Maybe we'll have some flowers or something. Still not sold on the wagon. Uh, happy with the pig pen though. And we'll have to see what the verdict will hold for these but uh, that's where i'm going to wrap things up for this afternoon folks if you've enjoyed today make sure you leave a follow here on twitch you can come back tomorrow for more streaming but it'll be with lego we're working on the tie interceptor that is of course uh, the ucs set from lego and uh oh no ancients you're coming in just as i'm wrapping up Thanks very much for the raid. Uh, don't worry, folks, if you're coming in with that Ancients raid, I'm going to pass you all along to uh, to Megabyte. Um, but uh, thanks very much, folks, if you're new. Um, hey, you're going to get all my information right now. Uh, Joel Duggan on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I post when I go live. Unless you're part of my Discord, at which point you'll also get a notification there. You can join the Discord with a Tier 1, a Prime sub, or by joining the Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And you can listen to the Spawn Chunks on Monday when Johnny and I will be doing the episode 300 all Q&A episode. We will touch briefly on the announcement of uh, Minecraft 1.21 coming up on June 13th. And we will also talk about the snapshot very briefly. Uh, but then we will move quickly into a long episode. Uh, by the way, episode 300 and all episodes of the Spawn Chunks going forward will have a video component. So Johnny and I are going to be on face cams for the foreseeable future. So you can check that out at uh, youtube.com slash the Spawn Chunks for the video and the spawnchunks.com or wherever you find your podcasts. We're, we're everywhere. Uh, same thing with the Citadel Cafe, my other podcast. That is not video. That's just audio, but you can find it anywhere that you get your favorite podcasts. Just look for it by name, The Citadel Cafe. It's all about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. And uh, a big shout out and thank you to Cosmic for moderating and for everyone for supporting with bits and uh, tier one subs today. I really appreciate it. If you've got a gift sub today, make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch. You can join us in the Joel Duggan Discord in between streams. I'll be back tomorrow at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours for the Friday Lego Let's Chat. Friday Lego Let's Chat. I can't wait. I will see you all then. Enjoy your afternoon with Megabyte. Bye for now.